Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It's really appreciated. Please kindly watch this video to the end. In this video, I'm talking about bleach and bleaching. Types of bleach, how to apply bleach, the, no, um, the quantity you need to, uh, to apply on your fabric, and how you can use bleach without damaging your fabric. Bleach is just an agent for, is a product you use in whitening your clothes and removing stain. We have two types of bleach, the chlorine bleach and the non-chlorine bleach. The chlorine bleach is um, high in sodium hydrochloride, while the non-chlorine bleach is a gentle one, is more of sodium peroxide. Now, if you want to apply bleach, you need to mix it in water and put your fabric into it. And I advise you soak it maybe between 5 to 10 minutes before you launder the clothes. Bleach, the general one that we know is mainly for white. But the non-chlorine one is like um, a stain removing agent which you can use to just treat stains on your clothes. But in the environment where I am, we are used to the one for white. And it's, you know, surprising that people use those um, the, the, non, the, the chlorine one on colored clothes, which it damages the clothes. So I advise that you read the label on your bleach containers before you apply to your clothes. You must read the instruction. All bleach that we have in the market comes with instructions on them. Like I say, and I'm repeating it for the benefit of wood, those people that don't really understand what I'm saying. We have two types of bleach, the chlorine and the non-chlorine. The chlorine is the one we are used to in Nigeria, where I work from or where I'm doing this video from. Outside Nigeria, they have non-chlorine and they come in different names depending on the product or manufacturer name. Those ones can be used to remove stain. But the one we are used to here is I in sodium hydrochloride. It is the job is just to bleach white, is to make anything you apply it to, to turn white. Say for instance, you put bleach on your blue clothes, it's going to bleach it, it's going to make it white. It might not be fully white, but it's going to damage that cloth that you will not be able to wear it again. So I advise that we use it mainly on white clothes. Now, in order for you to apply bleach, you're supposed to put large quantity of water in your bowl, bucket, whatever you have available to, to soak your garment into. When you put your water in a bowl, for instance, you have to pour the quantity you need. Like I said, the application is always written on your container which tells you how to apply the chemical. So you follow the instruction and apply the right amount depending on the number of clothes you're trying to put bleach on. I will not advise you put bleach directly on your fabric or garment. It's going to affect it. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, so this is my materials for the bleaching. I'm bleaching this white sea um, spaghetti top. It has some stains on it. So I'm going to show you the end result. This is a 75 ml bleach. I already have my detergent in the bowl. So I add the bleach and I'm going to put two liters of water because of the I tend to um, bleaching. You need the water to cover the clothes. So I've mixed the bleach thoroughly in water because you don't want one side of the cloth to be whiter than the other. So I've mixed it thoroughly with the detergent inside and I'm going to dip the clothes in and ensure it's immersed, properly immersed in the water mixture, the bleach mixture. 
So I'm going to soak this down and leave it for at least 15 minutes. You can leave it longer than that, depending on the time you have available. But anything from 5 to 10 minutes will actually do justice to what you're trying to bleach. It's going to remove all the stain on these clothes. So I'll leave it for a while. And once it's about 15 minutes, 10, sorry, 10 minutes, I'll wash it out and rinse it thoroughly. Okay, so we've soaked this for 10 minutes and I'm trying to wash all the stains out. Except it's a permanent stain. Permanent stains are stains that are irremovable because they have gone deeply into the fabric. Those are the stains that you'll not be able to remove using bleach. Don't forget, we are not perfect. We are just being professional. There are stains that no matter the kind of chemicals you apply to, they might not fully come out. So this has been washed. I'm rinsing it. Please, rinse out your bleach very well. Bleach clothes. You don't want to wear the clothes and you're smelling of bleach. Ensure you rinse thoroughly. Also, wear your apron. You are treating bleach and you don't want your clothes, the particular garment you're putting on, to get damaged. Use your apron or have work clothes like your lap, your coat, your white coat, put it on so that if the um, chemical comes in contact with your with your clothes, it will not be damaged. Don't forget, bleach can remove stains perfectly and can also damage your clothes permanently. So this has been washed and we have been able to remove the black, those black stains we saw when we were putting it. The yellow stain has all gone out. That is the effective use of I hope. Thank you. In conclusion, be cautious when using bleach. It can remove stain effectively and it can also damage your clothes permanently. So I advise if you do not know how to use bleach, stay away from bleach. Examples of bleach that we have in the market, we have the Jig, we have IPO, that is for chlorine bleach. For non-chlorine bleach, we have products like Clorox, we have Ace, and there are many, many more. But before you buy any products, always check the label. Make sure you're buying what, you know, is, make sure you're buying the products that will give you the kind of value or treatment you want. Thank you for always watching. Please kindly subscribe so that anytime a new video is uploaded, you'll be the first to know share the video for us thank you i believe it will help someone thank you